How's it going guys? Welcome back. So this is uh, not exactly a money making method video, um, but it is going to tell you guys how to make some good profit with cooking. Um, so I know it's a little bit confusing. Usually what I do is I make like a specific video about do this, do that, do this. But um, the thing is two days ago, I literally just made a cooking method video. So um, if you have not watched that one, I encourage you to watch that one and then just apply this one to that one. And then that's going to be the best way to do it. Cause there's really no point in me making that video all over again. Cause that would just be repeated content and pretty boring. So instead of that, we're going to talk about other things. <clears throat> so in this one, um, I was doing some price testing on some fish and I was like, okay, so since the fact that a lot of fish are dropping very quickly, um, I bet you that people don't really know what they want to sell stuff for and it might make some good opportunities. And it looks like I was right. So um, that is really beneficial for everyone because of the fact that it's going to give you guys more options to do cooking. Um, in the previous video, it did require a very high level of cooking in order to make some profit. And that was 15 to 16 million per hour, although it did not last very long at all. Uh, I am very well aware it didn't last that long at all. I had a bunch of people that are like, why would you post something that doesn't last very long? And the reason why is because, you know, uh, half par partially because of entertainment value. I mean, it's kind of entertaining to see that you know, you can find a method that's 15 or 16 million per hour. It's kind of fun to find. Um, and it's exciting to share that with you guys. Um, also, another thing is uh, the method didn't completely die. I mean, they're still profitable. You do still earn a good amount of money while cooking those those uh, blue jellyfish. And like I mentioned in that video, the prices do change. So that wasn't really like unexpected. Like, yeah, I definitely expect the price to change. So it is still profitable to do those. And there's still a great thing to cook. Um, but if you don't have um, the levels requirement for blue jellyfish or you don't want to cook those or maybe you don't have enough cash to stock those up because they are a bit more expensive. If you look down here, the blue cooked jellyfish right now is 4500 That is considerably more expensive than the rest of these fish I'm looking at right here. Um, so, you know, if you have a little bit less cash and you want to be able to stock up some cooking supplies, then one of these is probably going to be the way to go. Um, so what I was looking at is I was looking at the different fish that are lower level and also are going to be able to uh, be uh, you know cooked for some good profit now some of these are not really lower level like uh, manta rays are going to require a pretty high level of cooking uh, rock tails uh, and cave fish both honestly are going to require a pretty high level of cooking to not burn if we look in the uh, in the cooking uh, thing here and we look at food burning uh, let's go all the way down uh, pretty much you don't ever stop burning these things except for you know when you have 99 um, and so you stop you stop burning these at 94 so that is a little bit less level for the rock tails that's kind of nice because the Latin, the previous ones um, the previous ones was 97 they stopped burning so the rock tails are 94 k fish 94 it's a little bit better um, but overall these aren't that much lower of level but uh, they will help out some people I guess um, the other thing is though is they they definitely earn a good profit so let's take a look at that real quick we got raw manta rays coming up in number one and that's going to be uh, the raw version is I uh, instantly sold it for 1605 uh, you could buy it for less than this I'm not saying that you have to pay 1605 but you can you just know that you are able to buy them for that low um, cooked manta rays at 2700 for the cooked ones um, that ends up being a pretty massive profit if you're doing the thing where you're earning you know the 27 sorry if you're doing the thing where you're doing the uh, fast method like i showed in the, in the other video where you're doing 3,000 fish um every hour uh that's a considerable amount of profit you're looking at 2.7 million profit just from the fish it, uh, itself and then you're going to be saving about 10 percent extra fish so you can uh, rack in an extra 300 manta rays that you're going to be putting on top of that so you're going to be right around 4 million per hour somewhere somewhere right around 4 million per hour is what you're going to be looking at cooking manta rays rock tails are also profitable now one of the common mistakes that people make and i kind of want to point this out in this video um is that when they see a raw price being higher than a cooked price they they automatically think oh man you're, you're just going to lose money on those that's not profitable but the truth is it actually is profitable um so the way it's profitable is like this. If you have the sous chef hat modified, it gives you a 5% chance of getting an extra food. And then if you do, and if you have the uh, the range, the, the portable cooking range, it also has uh, the chance to give you 5% extra food. So with the fact that you've got um, 5% and 5% is 10%, so that while you're cooking, one in every 10 rock tails, and for this example, one in every 10 rock tails is going to give you an extra fish. So essentially, uh, you can divide whatever you're going to be losing by about 10, uh, you know, and, and to do the math there, and that's what you're actually going to be making. So rock tail cooked is going for 2380 
raw rock tail you can buy it for $24.55. Um, so it ends up being a profit um, by the time that you add in those extras. It's not a massive profit for sure. It's definitely a smaller profit, but profit nonetheless. Next is going to be cave fish. Cave fish is actually a much higher profit than rock tails are. Uh, all in all, if you're wanting to make some money, I would definitely recommend cave fish as probably your number one. Uh, and the reason why is because manta rays are pretty rare and not a lot of people buy them. So buying and selling manta rays is going to be extremely slow. Buying and selling rock tails will be extremely fast. So that's the benefit of doing those. And then cave fish are going to be somewhere in between. Uh, so we see cave fish right here. I sold them for 1503 each and then I instantly bought one for 2100 That makes roughly 600 each profit, which is pretty awesome That means 1.8 million profit on cooking 3,000 fish and then you're also gonna make the profit on 300 extra ones So that's gonna be right around 2.4 2.5 million per hour is how much you're gonna be earning doing cave fish uh, so it makes them really really good and and also because of the fact that manta rays are so rare and uh, They sell so slowly they buy so slowly it may be a better idea to stick with cave fish You know all around I think that manta rays actually uh, take a higher level before you can stop burning them as well Well, all right guys, that's really it for this video I just want to make a really quick short video That's going to show you guys how to make a little bit over two to three million gold per hour in cooking still um, even if the jellyfish is not really your uh, your flavor. <laughs> All right, guys, I will see you guys in the next video. I'm getting ready to start up some new series. So if you're interested in seeing the new series, then please subscribe. Or if you enjoyed the channel, hit that like button. Smash that like button if you're a champion. And I will see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.